Hello there and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use coroutines to write a dynamic script that can parse a CSV file, no matter the size, and uh, it will separate the content of the CSV file into separate files based on the header. So let's get to it. In order to experiment with this, uh, we will use this URL. This is a public dataset from GitHub and we can download many many datasets with the help of this. And uh, let's start it. So I'm going to need the CSV module, the arc parse module and the OS module. What I'm going to do is I will define a decorator function which will decorate two other functions and uh, with this we can create coroutines in Python. So <coughs> here is how it looks. So coroutine deck is going to receive a function and this will be wrapped around its arguments and keyword arguments. For rooted, this is going to be the function with the arguments and keyword arguments. And all we are going to do is call the next function because when you have a coroutine you need to uh, call the next function on a generator and uh, this is how you achieve it and we will return the coroutine and after that we will return the wrap so basically that's it. This is how you can create a wrapper with which uh, you can create a decorated function also known as coroutine. So we will use this decorator and we will cre create the coordinator function which is going to receive a writer's uh, array and we will try to run an endless loop or an infinite loop and we will receive values with the help of the yield from the generators and we will split these values <coughs> with the split function based on the separator which we assume is the design and after that I am going to need a variable and I will iterate through the writer's array and all I will do is call the send of function of my writer with the index shown in the splitted value based on the current value of the i variable. So basically this will, what it will do is that we will have writers which will write to a file which has the name of the headers of the CSV file and it will map the currently splitted line. So if our first header is A, then if we split the next line, the first value after the split goes to the file called A.txt. And if our second header is B, then the second value in that array goes to the b.txt and we will go through all these arrays and finally the i will be incremented with one except we receive a generator exit exception which means that our generator had been exhausted so there are no more lines to read from a file we will get back to it later and after that we need to close the handles of those files 
So for writer and writers, writer dot close. And that's it. This is our coordinator function. And we need to decorate the file writer function, which will receive a file name. And here we will try to open the file with the context manager called file. And while true, we will receive a line from the generator and we will write that line with a new line character to that file. And this is about that, except if we receive generator exit exception, then what we need to do is call the file.close function, which means that we will close the file. <clears throat> now, what we need to do is to make our script a little bit bulletproof. We have to parse the arguments. So we will use the arg parse.argument parser which will say that this tool is to split arbitrary CSV files based on the header into different files with txt extension and <coughs> Dot, dot, argument the minus f aka file to process is going to be of type stir with the help of cph the file to be processed and I would say that this is enough to parse the arguments and we need to check if the file to be processed it was specified because if not then we cannot do anything so we need to abort the script so you must give me a csv file to process and we will raise a system exit and if the file which was specified could not be found so then we will also say that you have specified a file which could not be found raise system exit we will give it the file to process and okay now we need to pull off the headers from the first line of the csv files uh, there must be many ways to do it this is how i found to be the most convenient for me to pull this off is that file to process is going to open for reading as csv file and we need to create a csv.reader 
CSV file and the headers are going to be the reader dot next so this will give me the next line and we will transform it because you may have headers where there is a space or some kind of other character which the Windows or Linux system would not like as a folder path. So all we do is replace the white space with nothing. So we will shrink those uh, headers that are, have white space. And <clears throat> this is going to be done for every item in the header. And we will assign it back to the headers. So basically we got the headers. All we need is a coordinator, which is going to be, no, writers, and these writers will come from file writer plus txt for underscore headers. So what happened here is that we created our writers, which are, is an array of functions with the name. So if I run this script now and just uh, stop here with the array system exit, all I would see is uh, files created with the name of the headers dot txt. Let's save it. And call it the coordinator. And after the coordinator is ready, which gets these writers, all there is left to do is open the specified file to be processed as CSV file and iterate through every line in the CSV file from the second line until the end and I will send these lines to the coordinator and the coordinator will be closed after we are done with these files. So first line holds the headers and what you care about is coming from the second line. And this is why it's done like that. There may be a more simple way to do this, but again, this is just a custom solution from me. So let us download this uh, file and oh my god it is going to install some freaking okay let's use chrome so here we have this city population data let's wait until it loads it has got some lines in it so basically at the end we will have some comments but let's do this data.csv okay and the end of it. Yeah. This is the end. Okay. Let's delete this. Save it. And 
if I done exactly what I wanted to do, then I have the CSV file, I have this coordinator, and I can run it this way. Minus F is the data.csv. Let's hit enter. As you can see, it created my TXT files based on the headers, and the TXT files have the lines separated there. And this is a kind of a, a powerful concept, these coroutines and generator stuff in Python. So basically this was all I wanted to show you. I'm going to upload the source code onto GitHub, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.